Hey everyone, Canadian Trucker here, November 13th. I got Mr. Readiness Reviews beside me. We are in Georgia and we're going to have some Domino's pizza. How's it going, guys? You guys haven't seen his face before. <laughs> well, that's not exactly correct. <laughs> I am at, at the very end of my Russian RP video, which was actually the first video that I filmed uh, when I decided I was going to do ration reviews. It was back, uh, I think it was in March or April of this year when I filmed that video. And uh, I wasn't sure if I was ever going to do anything with it. And so it just like sat around unedited for a while. And I like tried to edit it like four or five times, but I was just so terrible. Uh. I mean, my first video, I didn't like it at all. <laughs> and so I got to the point to where I was like, I really want to post this because this ration was awesome. And it was like my first like, yeah. you know, international ration I had done. I was like, I gotta, I gotta put it out there. And so I sat and I edited that video and it took like 12 or 13 hours oh. editing. And I finally got a version that was like, okay. And it, it was like a 28 minute long video. The original cut was an hour. Holy crap. I cut an hour long video down to 28 minutes. And, uh, and at the very end, just to like explain sort of what was going on, there's a little short, maybe minute, minute 30 seconds of me just talking to the camera. Oh really? Yeah. And, uh, and uh, Tracy Phillips, he watched it till the very end and saw that part. I think he's the only person that commented that my face was in that video. It's a long video. I don't expect anyone to watch it. That's why I put it at the very end of my longest video to date. But um, it's also not a great video, so yeah. I, don't, I don't expect anyone to watch that one, but it was fun to do. Being a foreign video and Russian at that, yeah. I have zero interest. I try to watch everybody's videos, yeah. and um, anything that's Canadian, Ameri or American, I, I do. I watch right to the end, and uh, yeah. But I'll leave a link to your channel down below, and um, this guy's awesome. I was one of your earlier subscribers, eh? Yeah. And I think my very first comment would have been your editing was awesome because <laughs> that he's the editing king. Yeah, I don't I mean I'm I'm relatively new to it. I just kind of jumped on it. I, I didn't want uh, prolonged videos. Um also, I'm not the best order uh, in person, so it, it does I do better if I can cut out a lot of my pauses while I'm like getting my thoughts together or if you know if I make mistakes or whatever. Yeah. So it, it does make the videos process take a lot longer like it, uh, it uh, my average video length is like, I don't know, 10 or 12 minutes, yep. maybe a little bit longer. It takes me probably, the an unedited cut is probably like 30 to 45 minutes. That's wild. And then I cut that down in editing, which usually takes two or three, two to four hours of video yeah. uh, on, on average. So, I don't know, at some point it's going to become like really hard for me to like have the time. That's why I never have time to, I'm behind on watching other people's videos. I try to, you know, stay as current yeah. as possible, but it's rough. Yeah, no doubt. I uh, I usually film a video. I do these kind of videos because there's basically one cut of it. When I do an MRE video, the camera's here, the camera's here, the camera's here, yeah. and it takes forever. And I'm too lazy to edit. I mean, I can <laughs> it cut. It takes a, a lot of time. I try to cut like a 15 minute video down to 12 minutes, and I don't care. I really, I mean, it's your problem if you're watching me, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not not into that much detail. But yeah, no, you do a killer job with that. So. So we got some uh, Domino's here. It is uh, lukewarm at this point. And uh, so this is a, uh, a Mitza. And this is actually uh, my favorite pizza that Domino's does. I know you're not super into cracker crust, but this one does have a cracker crust. Yeah. Uh, it has um, beef, sausage, pepperoni, and bacon. Uh, and then I also have the classic, which is just a pepperoni and cheese with extra yeah. cheese of course because otherwise there's no reason to have a pizza <laughs> and that's just on the regular hand tossed crust with it has like a garlic outside and I also okay. got a couple little dipping sauces if you would like to partake uh, right. I got a ranch and a blue cheese so I'll probably skip those but perfect yeah, yes. um I know you guys probably find it funny I always say pepperoni and cheese when I'm getting that I don't know if it's a Canadian thing I don't know if it's just a me thing but it's a pepperoni pizza and I always say pepperoni and cheese but please <laughs> forgive me just a cheese if you say pizza i think people just assume it has cheese on it yeah but I don't know. in canada or maybe where i'm from if you just ask for a pepperoni pizza they probably ask if you want a cheese on it it's and again i don't really? know so you it's possible you could go to a pizza place and be like i want a pepperoni pizza and they're going to give you it's going to be bread sauce and pepperoni i don't think so <laughs> i wouldn't i imagine they would confirm you on a cheese i don't know i i might be totally wrong on that but in my head it's always that's what you'd ask Fair for enough. So yeah, yeah, we'll just throw those up here. All right. Block out half of our life. 
give you a plate. Thank you, and sir. I got um, Coca Cola. You got a tall boy Coke. Yeah. There was Sprite, Coke, Cherry Coke, I guess, or uh, Diet Coke. So I know you've talked about it in your previous videos, but in Georgia, being in the South, everything's a Coke. So it is here it, too, it's, eh? It's just, it's just all Coke. <laughs> Arkansas. So regardless, I guess they made the right choice. So now I won't be confused. Uh, we'll see if this pizza actually needs sauce or not. So I gotta try the pepperoni first. Yeah, that's the one I'll go with first as well. Looks good. Smells good. Nothing wrong with that. It would be a little better if it was still fresh and hot. I don't mind it like this. Hey, I mean, pizza, even cold pizza is good. I mean, pizza's yeah. pe well, I'm a pizza person. I freaking love it. Like it doesn't. There's no such thing as bad pizza. There's pizza that's better than others, but I've never had a pizza that I'd be like, oh, that's gross. I'm not gonna eat that. You know, it's just all pizza. I never experienced that until last night. I did a comparison video for uh, Sterling Foods versus Bridgeford Foods for the MRE pizza. Yeah. I don't think I'm gonna put that out. It, it was horrible and it I, it made me sick actually. Really? Yeah, my stomach was just turning all night. So I assume it was from the pizza. I don't know. I haven't had any of them, either of them yet. I haven't had any MRE pizza. They're very different and awful. Well, I've heard them described as being like school pizza, but I really like school pizza. So I don't know, it's the cheese. That makes me think they might be weird. Like that cheese does not look like cheese; it looks like cardboard. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> I don't know. I won't. Uh, I won't give away the video, but I will put it up. I got to do a few redemption videos because I'm I'm turning into a cranky old trucker here. All my videos, I'm mad and pissed off with the food. So I'm gonna hold back on this until you know this is a good one. So maybe after this, I'll put that up. But <laughs> this is really good pizza. I would eat this anytime. I've had Domino's in Canada. And it's not like this at all. It's more like, um, I don't know, the top's all that burnt cheese and stuff and it's a thicker crust. This is perfect. Uh, yeah, as far as the big three pizza chains goes in my area, which would be Domino's, Papa John's, and Pizza Hut, I think Domino's has the rest beat in terms of like everything. Mm -hmm. uh, however, I like to frequent like little hole in the wall places, like sole proprietorship type spots, really what I like. But if you have to get a big chain, I think Domino's is the way to go. Mm -hmm. I'll be going to more of these. That's really good. Did you ask for the garlic butter on the crust? If you get the hand-tossed crust, it just comes on it. Okay. Yeah. That works. Hells yeah. Had barbecue with a Landel earlier. About one. So yeah. This is kind of second lunch or an early supper. I don't know what you call it. Yeah. I think I had a salad for lunch. That's why you're fit. Uh, not over overweight at the moment. <laughs> Actually, doing MRE videos has put probably five or ten pounds back on me that I didn't have before. No shit. Yeah. And I only do like one a week. Hmm. Well, I guess the, uh, I guess the secret's out why I'm gaining weight like a bastard. It definitely makes you gain weight. Like there, it, it's a, like, what I try to do is I'm going to do a video and I know it's going to be super high calorie like that. I do it first thing in the morning. As soon as I get up, that way I have the entire day to try to burn that off. And like sometimes I'll be the only meal I eat that whole day. Is that right? Yeah. Not me. Well, you're in here living off of them, so it's a little yeah. different. <laughs> sometimes this, uh, about two weeks ago, right after I seen Smitty and, well, between Smitty and Mickey Joe, I think I ate about four MREs in three days kind of thing. And, uh, that's why I don't get too excited about doing them because I know I'm going to be eating them eventually. Yeah. So you might see five of these videos before you see an MRE video. Yeah, it's completely different. Like if I had to rely on them, I would not be having a good time. Uh, it might not be the best thing to talk about while we're eating, but I know it, it's been said in comments and time people have made allusions to this, but MREs tend to back you up. At least they do me. Yeah. So it, if I, I can just have one MRE and I notice the difference the next day, I couldn't imagine eating them like days in a row. I'd be screwed. I've never, I've heard the same thing, but I've never ever, uh, there you tough blue cheese, I'll take ranch. Right. Unless you want the ranch. No, I prefer the blue cheese. Um, 
I've never had any issues that way. Just uh, like I said last night with that pizza one, that uh, turned my stomach the other way. <laughs> More of a food poisoning feeling. Oh, it, oh, it was it was rough, but it wasn't uh, you know life threatening. Just uncomfortable. I never get sick off pizza. I probably eat pizza three times a week. Taco Bell three times a week. I'm not even kidding. Like. And I don't care. I love it. <laughs> How's it compared to Casey's? Completely different. Casey's has a totally different flavor. The sauce and the cheese, the pepperoni, every part of it has a unique flavor. Mm -hmm. And when you put it together, it's kind of like magic. Like this tastes like standard pizza, but really good regular pizza. Casey's is kind of in a whole nother uh, world of its own. And they have breakfast pizza, which I can do a review on, and it's, I don't know what the sauce is. They got um, sausage, eggs, and a ton of cheese. Like, you pick the pizza up, it's heavy. Wow. But it's really, really good, too. And I was nervous to try it, but Tracy made me one day. So, yeah, we're, that'll be a long run. Yeah. And now, when you're crossing over the border, is there, like, customs? How's that work? Oh, shit, yeah. Pretty serious. Um... the way it works going both ways um, your truck has to be cleared to cross the border the load has to be cleared to cross the border and you have to be cleared to cross the border um, everything's put onto one sheet called an ACE or an ACI manifest a electronic manifest and you get to the border and you just give them the sheet and they stamp it while well, they stamp it going up they don't coming down but it goes to the computer and it shows that you this vehicle and that load are now in canada or in the states coming this way so there's no getting around that you can't just show up at the border yeah it's like a twelve thousand dollar fine it's ridiculous <laughs> but i mean it is what it is as far as customs and taxes and stuff that's all done by a customs broker so i don't have to worry about it but it has to be cleared before you get there for sure okay, you've never got stopped trying to take some non uh usda approved uh rations into the country we'll just edit this part out <laughs> no never never had an issue <laughs> i typically only um it's either canadian or american rations that i'm bringing across and the way that the free trade agreement works is as a trucker you can we're allowed to bring our own food across yeah without being inspected and whatnot um, I cannot bring it down and sell it or give it away what I come down with um, basically I have to consume and that's why mm. you'll never see me give away or sell a ration yeah um, but yeah that there's there's rules against it um, for obvious reasons I mean everybody's upset about everything that's going on but it's there for a reason. If you bring stuff from Russia and it has a pest on it or something and it kills out all the crops in the right. States, like it's... It's, it's definitely it. a problem. I, I find that it's a little ridiculous with the things that are uh, canned though. Like that's specifically sterilized. Mm -hmm. Like otherwise, like it's not like they're, we're bringing like fresh produce in or anything or like, you know, animals or right. you know, steaks. Like it, it's all like canned product. Uh, I understand where they're coming from though. But even with that being said, um, when it comes to Canada and the States, we have very, very similar health guidelines with farming, with, with beef and pigs. So let's say beef and chickens have to be raised a certain way. Um, and it has to be inspected when it's slaughtered. Okay, there's a stamp on it, good to go. Our two countries, it wouldn't really matter. And that's why we trade so much, everything's inspected. But if you were to get some Mongolian ration, say, which I'm not trying to pick on Mongolians here, <laughs> but let's say a cow died and they say, oh, well, let's cut it up, throw it into rations. Yeah. How would we ever know? that they, it, It's a quality control thing and it's for everybody's safety. I do understand they go a little bit extreme, um, but when you are writing up the laws, they would have to go into great detail just for rations, which is you know how many what percent yeah, yeah, of no, us well someone obviously cares because you know people were, were getting notified it's <laughs> so, yeah i think that it's okay have the laws enforce them but enforce them on the importation side but they should be going after individuals if you buy a ration in the u.s 
and it didn't ship to you, I don't think that's really like your problem. It should be stopped before it gets to you, which they're doing, you know? But the, the whole thing of it, like Nathan MRE for one, mm -hmm. like they sent someone to his house, like that's that's a little bit, it's overreach. It's government overreach and uh, I don't like that at all. Um, but with that, Nathan is a guy who will do anything for a view and a subscription and, and like he's very desperate for people to watch his videos and I honestly don't believe everything that he says is going on. Uh, it's, it's possible. He uh, And there's another channel that kind of did the same thing. Um, and to go on YouTube and call it out and make such a big deal about what could have been a small deal is going to make it bad for everybody if it keeps up because they're going to be like, oh, this guy's a dick and everybody supports him. We're going to shut them all down. Yeah. I'd like to know if, if any of the other like big ones like like Steve or anybody like that's had any problems. Like Old Smokey's never said anything, has he? No. Uh, I don't think, you know, he's got, what, uh, 18,000 subscribers at this point or something like that. Uh, I don't think Sticky Fingers has ever said anything. No, and, and the thing he's is... He's over 20,000. I've had rations opened up and inspected. I've never had anything taken out. Um, other guys that I know have had stuff removed. And that's where it ends. They're not coming to your house looking for rations, but they're doing their job. The like Customs is doing their job when the stuff's coming in. Yeah. So I think it's getting blown way out of proportion and it's um you can pretty much blame two channels for for what's going on and if everybody just kind of keeps quiet about it i think it'll just kind of blow over my personal opinion of course at the moment my channel's too small for it to probably ever be a problem but that's one of the reasons i try to keep a low profile yeah just so i'm not singled out at some point you leave them alone they'll leave you alone yeah i wouldn't worry Did you try a piece of this, um, the oh, one yeah. with the cracker crust? Let me grab that next. It's, um, it's very nice. Even if you're not, like, super into thin crusts, I think they pretty much do it right. Looks good. Holy shit, we're already 19 minutes? The on-camera time goes quick. It's crazy, my last... Mickey Joe's like 50 minutes. It is very long, but I watched, I watched, I actually just watched it last night. You do? Yeah. He's got such good energy. Yeah, he's, he's like over the top. That's one of the reasons I really like his videos. They're a little bit long, but uh, it, it's fun to listen to him. He's, yeah. he goes 100% all the time. He's how it is and it's, <laughs> he says what he's thinking. Yeah. You mentioned to him that you know, he's a little over positive in, in his reviews sometimes, and I think I, I sort of do the same. But I always look at it at the standpoint of like, what what is it? Like, you know, it's, it's ration food. Like, I think yeah. that most of the rations out there are pretty freaking good for like what they are. And that's, I think, how most people look at it is for something that's 10 years old, it's fucking fantastic. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, I look at it more as this is what I'm eating. Yes. This is it's like my grocery yeah. store is <laughs> is MREs to some extent. And um, would I eat it again? No, I'm very fussy now. I don't even buy cases of rations hardly anymore. I go and I buy the individual I mean, ones you if like you can them. find a real good price. Because um, I was finding with, uh, when you buy the 24 rations, there's like almost half that I don't like. And it's not that I don't like them, but I don't enjoy them. And why, why eat tuna? <laughs> or spinach alfredo whatever it is if you don't like it yeah um there's definitely some throwaway menus that's for sure like ones that i'm glad i got to try and experience mm -hmm. and see what they're like but i wouldn't seek them out if i wanted another ration that's for yeah. sure hmm. pretty much all the vegetarian ones fall under that category like they're not bad they're just not my thing hmm. i find the vegetarian ones people think vegetarian and they automatically think i'm not going to like it but elbow macaroni is one of my favorites. It, it's there's nothing vegetarian about it. It's pasta in sauce. In sauce. Yeah. Um, the vegetable, vegetarian crumbles, whatever. Yeah. That's different. That's fake meat. And if you don't like that, you might not like the ration. But um, elbow macaroni is definitely one of my top. Same with cheese tortellini. It's it's another really good one I like. And I guess two of the four I like. Two of the four I don't. But yeah. Part of the whole perspective thing, like you're sustaining yourself 
off your rations, which is a completely different perspective than I'm coming from, where mine's just like pure enthusiasm. Yep. I, I grew up, like I was one of those kids that was like super into everything military. Like, you know, I have a lot of like gun stuff on my channel. That's cause that's the stuff I like, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, as a kid, played with GI Joes, was always, you know, playing army man. I just, I just grew up with that. And so I started trying rations at a very young age. I was probably uh, five, six years old when I had really? my first MRE. Yeah. And uh, my dad's always taken me around to uh, gun shows, which, uh, you know, depending on where you're at in the country, those may or may not be a thing. But in the South, they're a pretty big thing. And uh, it's just a, you know, a convention that you go to where everyone's like buying and selling guns, selling more than buying usually. Yeah. Um, and uh, I was always just super fascinated in, in those types of shows, but they don't only have guns, they'll end up having military surplus stuff, so all sorts of ex-military gear and also rations. And that's yeah. why I, I, I knew about MREs from a show that used to come on the History Channel called Mail Call uh, with R. Lee Ermey, R.I.P. And uh, he did an episode on MREs, and that's how I found out about like, what they were. And this was in like the mid-90s. Right. Yeah, and then uh, me and my dad went to a gun show, and they had a booth set up that had a dude selling MREs. I think they were um, uh, $4 each at that time, which is pretty much the same price they are now if you find them at a, at a show like that. They're about that much. Hmm. Uh, so the prices really haven't changed, which is kind of odd. But uh, it was a uh, tan bag. I don't remember the exact menu, but I, I bought a, I bought a few. I bought like four at once. I don't remember which one I had first, but one of them was like uh, uh, pasta in sauce. So it was uh, butter noodles, pasta with butter noodles or something like that. And then one was chicken tetrazzini. I know at some point it might have been a separate trip. I had a uh, uh, pork lo mein. And so I have like I tried like these mid '90s menus, and I, they didn't have FRHs in them, so it must have been uh, just before the FRH came out. They were probably like uh, '93. Well, they, they were tan bags. They were probably '95 production tan mm -hmm. bags before the FRH came out, something like that. And uh, that chicken tetrazzini absolutely blew my mind. I could not believe how good it was, and I was like, "What am I going to do? I'm never going to be able to get another one of these." And this was just like one of the best things I've ever eaten. Mm -hmm. And it's military food. I was just like super jazzed on it. And over time, my uh, love for MRA has kind of just you know faded out with age or whatever. And then back uh, probably about a year ago at this point, uh, I was just you know messing around on YouTube. I wrote, ran across one of Steve's videos. It just I'm yeah. sure that's a lot of people have the yeah, same everybody. story. Yeah. And, yeah. But Steve's the man, by the way. I mean, his his videos are fantastic. And I wouldn't be making reviews now if I wouldn't have watched one of his videos first. So I was just like mesmerized by Steve's video and that like re reinvigorated how much I loved rations. Because my rations, you know, it goes back far, a lot farther than me doing reviews. But I kind of fell out of it. But it really got me back into it. I was going on MREinfo.com uh, and like, you know, reading the posts and all that kind yep. of stuff. And that, I started like looking for the international rations because those are like, I got to try some Russian food, like for real. And so I hunted one of those down and did my little video on it. But as soon as I got done with all Steve's videos, I marathon watched all of G. Schultz, all of Gundog, all of Old Smokey, and then after that point, oh, I watched all of Nathan's videos as well, which he has a lot. He has like well, I don't know, 400 reviews or something. It's crazy. He has a lot. Uh, I watched all of like pretty much all the big guys' videos, and then I decided to start making my own. When I started making my own, all these other little channels started popping up, and I started connecting with, with you know, everyone else. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's when I actually started watching the Smoky live streams and seeing like what the community was like and like really get into it. It's like a great group of people. Yep, they're all awesome. Yeah. I think you're probably from the people I know and have talked about it. You're probably the youngest to have gotten into MREs because what were you five years old? You said. Hmm. Yeah, I'm. I'm uh, 29 in 95. I would have been five. So yeah. something like that. That's five wild. or six. Most of us got in when we're already fat and old, but that's <laughs> crazy. You have a lot of years with that. Well, I'm into all things military surplus, like <coughs> not just the food, <laughs> gear and guns. And were you ever in the military? <laughs> no. no. <coughs> I was in ROTC um, in high school. And that's about as close as I got. When it came time to, you know, graduate and whether I was going to, you know, go to the military or not, I decided not to. I kind of regret that a little bit at this point. I figure I probably should have did at least, like, two years, you know? Go in for two years and get out and, you know, do whatever I was going to do after that. But I just wasn't in the car. What do they fly out of the airports? Like, what's what's that base have, or do you know? I don't even know. No. I haven't been there since I was probably around the same age, five or six. 
me and my dad went to an air show there. Uh, it was sort of um, unfortunate, but uh, I found uh, all the amusing. I sort of have a diminished sense of humor. But um, they, they were doing a, uh, a parachuting demonstration where they were you know, jump out of the planes and parachuting and they had uh, um, smoke canisters on their feet and they were like, you know, doing patterns in the air and stuff yep. so parachuting. And this uh, one guy's uh, parachute like gets, <laughs> this one dude's parachute gets like tied up and he starts falling faster than he's supposed to. Uh -oh. And I'm like witnessing this as like a small child and he's like falling faster and faster and it's spinning out of control. And he slams to the ground legs first and you could hear his leg just snap. Oh, it was like, shit. It, was, it was, it sounded like a car crash. And then he's just like yelling and they yeah. had to bring out the ambulance and stuff. He was okay, but his leg was demolished. They said his, his leg was like snapping too, basically. That'd be tough to see. Yeah, it was tough to see, but I, I, I couldn't help but laughing. It was so bad. I don't know what I would have done. I might, be, I might be a terrible person. I, I don't know. I, I, just, I just like, when people get hurt, it just makes me laugh. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not busting their legs. I love seeing somebody I slip on the ice or whatever. <laughs> See a soldier bust his legs. I don't know. That might be twisted. No, I mean, I felt bad for him. But in the moment, with him yelling and everything, I don't know. It's just, I felt an amusing. Looking back, it was not so funny. This is really good, too, by the way. Yeah, no close-up tonight either. That's the meat side. Although, it would normally have ham on it, which is AKA Canadian bacon. Uh, but I changed the ham for actual bacon. Mm. So it has bacon on it. My bacon bacon. Yeah. Yeah, apparently we do call, not to admit Smitty's, Smitty's right. Um, <clears throat> In some parts of Canada, we do call some ham Canadian bacon. For why, what reason, I have no idea. Because we have real bacon, too. Yeah, it's just like actual bacon. Is it a British thing? I don't know. Let's blame the, blame the British. Well, the British, they have bacon, too. They call them rashers, like a rasher of bacon. And it's essentially pork belly, just like, you know, the bacon here But they is. cut it thick and they don't cook it right. <laughs> like, it's never <laughs> it's crispy good. or anything. Yeah, they do. It is kind of floppy. I think this one's going to park beside us. There's two spots. Should be able to do it. I watch videos all day long of uh, like F-22s and F-18s and shit. Yeah. There's all kinds of videos and they put a song to it like Thunderstruck or whatever. And <laughs> planes flying around. Yeah. It's fucking wild. Yeah, that's such cool. I remember years ago, there was a thing going around of these um, uh, Russian fighter pilots doing like crazy acrobatics and like mm -hmm. whatever uh, their, their jets are. And they were doing like insane stuff. Nice. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. Well, there's... Where the fuck is she going? Look at all this room for the next truck. Um, so the F-22 is the only jet that the states have that their, uh, I don't know what you call it, exhaust there can tilt up and down yeah. so they can like do this and that real yeah. easily. <laughs> the Russian ones turn side to side as well so they can like just do loops, yeah. backflips constantly. It's wild. Yeah. They got some nice planes, too. I don't know what she's doing. She keeps looking at us. Maybe she hit your car? Well, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> so when you said you went into, um, not the military, but in high school, you were in RTA, or what you call it? ROTC. What is that? I wish I could remember what the acronym stands for. But essentially, it's like a. Hmm, I don't know how to explain this to someone who doesn't know what it is. Um, like cadets. Yeah, yeah. Essentially, yeah, yeah. It's like a, it's like a Boy Scouts, but not Boy Scouts, because it's an actual like class in school that you like get graded for and stuff. Oh really? But yeah, you um you wear like a uniform, and uh, the instructor is ex-military, and uh, you learn 
about Army stuff. Basically, mine was Army. Some, some high schools will have a Navy ROTC, some will have an Air Force ROTC even. Uh, and each one is different depending on like who's heading it up. And our, ours, ours was Army. So you just learn like basic stuff. You learn like map reading and uh, um, the whole like uh, rank structure of the military and uh, various other things. Have the people that you see doing like color guard and rifle twirling and all that kind of stuff, that's all part of our ROTC as well. Yeah. I didn't do that though. That's neat. We had you doing the summers. <clears throat> and it was just called Army Cadets. You take the summer. My brother did it. And then um, I think that was about it. Just every summer you'd go somewhere and there was different training or whatever. I don't know. There's I, some extracurricular things like that uh, here in the States as well. There's uh, one called uh, Civil Air Patrol. And it's a basically like an ROTC, but it's a voluntary, like, extracurricular ROTC that you can go to that specifically trains you like Air Force stuff. And I have a friend in high school that did that along with the ROTC, and he's like a pilot for like uh, an airline now. <laughs> yeah. That'd be cool, eh? I got you some stuff from Canada. Oh, for real? Okay, now this one here. Have you had this? Uh, I actually have one of those. Do you? Yeah. I, I, haven't, I haven't done a review on it yet. It was the first MTW I bought. This is like all I have. have. I've given away, I've seen so many people giving away all my rations. If you want that, take it. No, no, no. You give, give it to someone else. This or is you my have favorite it yourself. One. Uh, Yeah, is it good? It's really good. <laughs> I know, I've, I've seen reviews on it, and I've, I've heard some people say they weren't that into it. But I'm, really? like, like I said, Chicken Tetrazzini was like, that's the the pinnacle of MRE for me. This it's my tastes, favorite MRE ever. And so the the turkey Tetrazzini was like, well, maybe it's, that, you know, it's like just. That basically turkey green beans and gravy yeah. like it's awesome the turkey's crunchy a little bit but the rest is just stuff from canada oh yeah you'll understand that when you see my pizza video <laughs> that's all is the it just like a strip down yeah that's all the <laughs> stuff i didn't eat and i just i'm running out of room so yeah the next person i see gets the next bunch of crap <laughs> uh, some smarties i had some of those not a lot, not a lot yeah and I've, I've been seeing these around too Coffee fest. I think they still come in rations actually. Are those those. ketchup chips? Yep. Oh, they are. <laughs> I would have had Thank all you. dressed too, but I think I grabbed three bags of them and I've seen three people and I screwed up, I guess. So, yeah, I'll get them next time. Oh, that's more than generous. I appreciate those are it. Good. You'll like them. But uh, yeah, we'll wrap this up. And oh, here's what he got me a beef stew. Can't see it, but it's beef stew. 2010 that's gonna be a good one i'll do a video on that if i don't like it i'm gonna tell you <laughs> it's got m ms but i really appreciate you coming man yes sir thank you and uh yeah thank you guys for coming see you next time